you so much for joining me today. My name is Jenny Allen and I'm a certified life coach. All the links to my website, my YouTube channel and my mailing list are all on my Periscope profile. I am a certified coach and my passion is to build the self-esteem and confidence of women. I am on a journey today, well, over the next few days of 12 Days of Wisdom for 2018. And this is day four. So, uh, it's based on the book of Proverbs. And um, I'm going to read for you Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. I'm going to read it in the King James Version and I'm going to read it in the Amplified. So it's Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six. And in the King's James, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. OK, and then in the Amplified, it says, verse five, lean not, trust in and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, know, recognize and acknowledge him and he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. OK, now, that in 2018, this word is for somebody, I believe, because you just dropped as I was about to set up. Trust the Lord in 2018. We have to develop our heart and our mind to learn to trust God, to learn to lean on God and to be confident in his ability to lead us in any path that he wants to lead us in. If he's telling us to turn right, but we are seeing everything go left, you know, to turn left, we have to trust that as God is turning us to go, telling us to go right, that we go right and we be confident in his direction for our life. This morning, I'm listening to an audio book. Every morning I listen to an audio book and I was listening to one of my favorite authors, his audio book, and it is Charles Swindoll or Chuck Swindoll. He's one of my favorite authors. And he was um, talking about what happened when Mary became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And he had he was focusing in on Joseph and Joseph was going to, you know, pack Mary off and leave her because of the condition that she was in. But Joseph had a divine angelic visitation about Mary's condition and he decided to marry her anyway. He decided to, you know, do he, he decided to do as he was led. He didn't quite understand everything. All he knew was is that he had a gut feeling in his heart and he had a divine visitation of what he should be doing in that situation with Mary and he had a divine visitation about it he decided to walk with God according to that situation so I want to encourage you that as you are entering 2018 that you walk with God that you be confident in God's ability to lead you right he's not going to lead you wrong God will never lead you wrong, even if it looks as if he's telling you to go in a particular direction and it doesn't look right. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit for your life in 2018 and you will see the benefit of where he is leading you. It says in all your ways, know, recognize and acknowledge him. Acknowledge the Lord in every step, in every step that you take, say, Lord, I lift up this situation to you. I lift up this, this step to you. I lift up this contract to you. I lift up this working environment to you. Acknowledge the Lord in every single step that you take and watch him lead you. Watch him encourage you. Watch him lead you by his word. He will send a word to confirm the steps that he is taking you. And this is my encouragement to you today. Follow the leading of the Lord in 2018. If you acknowledge him in, in verse six, it says in all thy ways, acknowledge him 
and he shall direct your path. If you acknowledge the Lord in every step you take, he will lead you correctly. He will lead you right. Okay, other people can give their advice about a situation in your life. But what is the Lord saying to you about that particular situation? And when you receive that answer, walk in the way that he has given you. Okay, so I hope this is an encouragement for someone. This is day four of 12 days of wisdom for 2018. Remain blessed and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, God bless and bye. Bye bye.